Reporting live at a Planet Fitness at Gerard Square the day before yet another gym lockdown, it's live from last week episode 55, let's go! Welcome you my fellow jaywalkers to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So around 6 a.m. this morning, with my eyes not even fully open, it was an early morning wake up because I was the driver to Uber drive the wife to work for her day shift this morning. But honestly, after I dropped her off downtown, I did go to the gym to start my New Year's off right. Also, if you guys haven't heard, because of the increasingly high numbers of COVID in the area, starting tomorrow, the government of Ontario is officially closing all gyms and restaurants to the public use. Meaning, I really did have to get my monthly workout in today before anything else. So what was my workout, you ask? Of course, it was the usual. Not just one rep, but two reps on the Planet Fitness Hydro Massage Beds. But yeah, all joking aside, hopefully in the near future, we'll be able to go back to the gyms and the restaurants that we love and enjoy when we lower COVID numbers and get out of this stage of the pandemic. But throwing back to my wedding a couple months back, where my cousins performed this one-of-a-kind dance for us in these uniforms, aka Squid Game hoodies, thanks to Adwave and Faye meeting me up yesterday, I finally got my Kinjano wedding hoodie. So shoutouts again to Faye Duave for creating these hoodie designs. And I can't wait to go out in public and show off these hoodies with you guys sometime in the near future. But yeah, anyways, tonight I'm going in for my first of my three night shifts. And I'm kind of nervous about it because last week's four night shifts were crazy busy. So yeah, here I go off to work and I'll just see you guys again tomorrow. Hey y'all, so I don't know if you guys remember this Facebook Marketplace purchase from last week's episode, but this morning after I got off my night shift, I brought that Reebok adjustable bench up from the locker, set it up, and decided to try it out. Mainly because all the gyms starting today are closed, so I did a couple of chest exercises with my dumbbells that I haven't used in a long time. And in case you're asking, the wife didn't know that I bought this last week. So when she came into the room this morning and found out that I bought this new product that we don't have any room for in the condo, you could tell that she was just a little bit upset and that I was a little bit surprised that she showed up halfway through my workout. But anyways, hopefully I'll be able to share this bench with her in her workouts in the future so that she'll be a little bit less mad at me for buying this bench without her permission over time. And yeah, before I go in for my second of my three night shifts tonight, we just have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting with one of my friends that I've played beach volleyball with and have known for a long time now, Adrian. Happy birthday, Adrian. And to a former resident of mine who I used to bring to Nathan Phillips Square while I was a CA at Wysick in downtown Toronto, Daniel. Happy birthday, Daniel. And last but not least, an elementary slash high school friend of mine who is always quick and agile, not just on the soccer pitch, but on the ice in hockey. Scoring goals left, right, and center, snipe. This birthday greeting goes out to Jimmy. Happy birthday, Provenzano. Hope you guys all are staying safe and healthy, and I'm hoping that you guys had a great celebration for your birthday this year. But yeah, guys, it's off to my night shift tonight, and I'll just see you guys again tomorrow. So guys, after yet another busy night shift, with a restless, disoriented, and delirious patient pulling at their cardiac monitors and their IV lines last night, I decided that today, we're gonna stick to thinking about the small victories that we have day to day. Which actually started off yesterday evening when I found my first street level parking spot in a long time. Woohoo! Celebrating the small victories in life. I got first floor parking. Yeah, first floor parking tonight, guys. Don't have to take the elevator. I was also able to get into the stock market by buying some Mara for 29.5. And earlier this evening, I went with the wife on her first Facebook Marketplace buy with me along her side. Does it fit? Yeah, it's a small and I miss it. Goes with your teddy bear shirt. Yay, Facebook Marketplace. We also received some mail from one of our friends, Giselle. 
And while we took a picture with her letter in the car, we got to opening this nice little surprise when we got home. Oh, that's cool. Let the adventure begin. Wow. wow. So thanks again for that thoughtful letter, G. And I'm hoping for a safe arrival from you when you land back in Europe. We were also able to stop by one of our favorite restaurants and got some spicy dragon takeout for dinner tonight. So I'm really excited to have some food before I go in for my third of my three night shifts tonight. But before I do that, we just have a couple of birthday greetings. Starting with one of my friends from Chicago who's actually from Toronto, who I also let borrow my brand new pants while we we're checking out Chili Game at Wrigley Field. And this birthday shout out goes out to Michelle. Happy birthday, Michelle. And my next birthday greeting goes out to one of my people who I play beach volleyball with, as well as indoor volleyball back at the Cabbage Town Gym. And I'm hoping that when this pandemic blows over, we'll be getting together to play some more indoor volleyball. And this birthday shout out goes out to Jerome. Happy birthday, Jay. Anyways, for the birthday celebrants out there, hope you guys are doing well, stay safe and healthy. And I'm hoping that you guys had a great birthday this year. And yeah, since the gyms are still on day two of being locked down, I did a quick pre-work workout using my dumbbells and my brand new Reebok workout deck. And for future reference, I've done a before picture in order to see how much improvements that I'm going to be doing on these workouts over the year. So guys, stay tuned for that glow up picture at the end of 2022. Anyways, just marking it off here, before I go in for work tonight, since all the previous days have been cloudy, I've caught my first glimpse of the sunset in 2022. But for now, wish me good luck on my night shift and I'll see you guys tomorrow. So I'm finally off after working eight shifts in 12 days. And guys, all eight shifts were hella busy. But now that I'm off, I actually get some time to celebrate a little bit and have a rare Friday night where I'm actually not working. So it's time to play a little new song that I have for you guys. It's Friday again. What? It's Friday again. What? It's Friday again. What? It's Friday again. What? So after coming home and getting a nice sleep post night shift, obviously I'm just kidding. The insomnia and excitement from having days off kicked in and I was only able to sleep a couple of hours post night shift. But yeah guys, I'm really excited to show you something. Y'all remember this scene from a couple weeks ago? I went to my local Moors to pick up that huge order from that gift certificate that I got and brought that haul of clothes home, which I'll showcase in next week's live from last week episode. Well, that $400 shopping spree brought me a new wardrobe that I want to share with you guys. And if you guys know me, I headed straight for the clearance rack. So let's go check out all the clearance items that I got for my new wardrobe and the discount prices that I got them for. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, including this two piece suit, all for four hundred bucks. So, yeah, thanks again to Moores for giving me that four hundred dollar wedding shopping spree as a token of their appreciation for me renting six tuxedos for my wedding. All right, guys, so it's time to pack up these things and put them into my wardrobe catch the beautiful sunset for the second evening in a row before it goes down today, and we'll resume with you guys again tomorrow. 
So before we go on for today, just want to let you guys know about the positive things that we saw yesterday, including receiving a thoughtful holiday card from one of my friends from high school. What a great thoughtful gift that was mailed to me during this holiday season. Tis the season, in a world full of Scrooges, be a Grinch. At least he has a cute pup. From Joanna. Thanks Joanna. Merry Christmas to you and your loved ones. And a Happy New Year to y'all as well. And do you guys remember this video from a couple years back? Well, that was supposed to be our wedding day on November 20th, 2020. And we went to this brewery called the Niagara Brewing Company. And for Christmas last year, we bought a couple of their craft beers and wrapped them up for presents. And unfortunately, we tucked it into the fridge, only getting the opportunity to open those beers up and try them out last night. Whoa! Oh, this is good. Forgot how nice this one tasted. The Niagara Brewing Company. Back when we visited Niagara, November 20th, 2020. Finally opening this baby for the first time in over a year when it was supposed to be a Christmas present from last year. Mm. It's actually pretty good. On to this morning, after I bought some almond milk, we were able to try out this holiday cereal that we bought and have a bowl of cereal for the first time in over a year. Now guys, on to today, where we are at the Blue Mountain Ski Resort for our first run of the new year, 2022. So after more than four hours driving and a couple hours on the slopes, I'm back home in Scarborough to wrap it up for the night. But first, I have a birthday greeting to one of my FCAR friends who played guitar and performed as well as played volleyball with me back at Kerr Hall. And this birthday greeting goes out to Melvin. Happy birthday, Melvin. O tanjobi omedito gozaimasu. And I have a special announcement with my local hometown club, Toronto FC, where today we signed an international Italian forward who was also on the European 2020 championship team. With earlier Toronto FC announcing that they have signed Lorenzo Insegne. So pretty much I'm really excited to see what improvements this will make our team and I'm eager to see how well we will do in 2022. So before I call it a night, I just wanted to say Benvenuto a Toronto, Lorenzo Insigne. So it's been at least a couple of days since the 12 days of Christmas have wrapped up. Meaning it was finally time to put away my Christmas tree for the year. But at the same time, how the hell am I going to fit this Christmas tree back in my locker that it is already stuffed? And I don't know how I did it, but it's back in storage in my locker for the next 11 months. And to reward me for putting it away, the wife actually ordered from a local spot that we've been to many times. Or according to these old videos from live from last week, our go-to place for Thai and Viet food. And check it out, this is what she treated me out for dinner tonight. But moving on, I don't know if you guys have heard, tonight one of my favorite players, Clay Thompson, makes his return after a two and a half year absence and is back on court playing for the Warriors. And in his first game back, 
check out what he did. And man, I'm so excited for this guy to be playing back in the NBA. After he had that horrific injury against the Raptors in the finals a couple years back. But yeah, I'm wishing him and the Warriors all the best of luck for the rest of this NBA season. And now, on to some birthday greetings for today. With my first greeting going out to one of my cousins in the Philippines, who I actually haven't seen in person since I was back there in 2003. And this birthday greeting goes out to you, RG. Happy birthday, RG. And for my next birthday greeting of the day, this one goes out to one of my childhood friends that I went to dance school with and who's doing some amazing and very admirable work with her fundraisers for MS. And this birthday greeting goes out to Shelby. Happy birthday, Shelby. I'm hoping both of you guys are doing great, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you guys also celebrate your birthday well this year. So earlier today, the wife and I decided to do a quick delivery to her cousin, Ate Shah, as well as to our nephew, Blueberry, whose birthday was last week, but whose birthday celebration was supposed to be yesterday at a local science center. The thing was, because of the pandemic, the birthday gathering and celebration were canceled. So we dropped off Blueberry's Christmas slash birthday present that, as you guys can see, I was so excited to give and package a couple days ago. And today, we finally made time to hand them the gift in person, face to face. Hi! We got a, we got a Christmas, Christmas slash it's birthday a Christmas. present. <laughs> It's a delivery. And this, this one. one. So hi, Jared. Can you pick this up? It's thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so Jared, I know it's a little bit out of season, but I'm hoping that you'll enjoy your gift and you'll wear it sometime in the near future. And afterwards, after coming home and watching Back to the Future last night, the wife and I decided to catch another movie and watch Disney's Encanto, which I thought was a really good movie where I'm giving it five out of five stars. We also got an email from our wedding photographers, letting my wife and I know that our photos that were taken at our wedding have now been uploaded to their website. And boy, were we excited to go check them out. Ah! <laughs> I haven't seen these at all. <laughs> so if any of our viewers want to see the slideshow of our wedding photos, and catch the reaction videos to us seeing our photos for the first time, feel free to comment below or to shoot me a DM and I'll send the link to you guys of the video for that. So yeah, thanks again to Derek and Andre from the Mariner Agency for taking those amazing photos of us and helping my wife and I relive that wedding day one photo at a time. Moving on, before we wrap it up for the week, I just have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting with a friend that I met at FSAT whose voice is amazing on the mic, whether it be at karaoke or performing live. And this birthday greeting goes out to friends. Happy birthday, friends. Next birthday greeting I have for you guys is for a high school friend of mine, who you would see always smiling and joking around, that I remember making us laugh in the halls and classrooms of St. Stephen's. Anyways, this birthday shout out goes out to my buddy, George. Happy birthday, George. And last but not least, I have a birthday greeting to another person that I met at FSAT, who would be at the Filipino Center week after week at FSAT tutoring. And I always remember her smiling every time we had student events. Anyways, big birthday shout out to one of our FSAT fam, Sarah. Happy birthday, Sarah. Hope all you guys are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and I'm hoping that you guys all had a great birthday this year. But yeah guys, that pretty much wraps up yet another busy episode. So, if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.